Hi, this is David Dakota, and I'm at the Trailers from Hell Studios in Hollywood, California. Faye Dunaway has had a very, very, very interesting career. She would go from movies to television, all over the place. But in the late 70s, she did one of my favorite Faye Dunaway movies. And no, it wasn't Mommy Dearest. It's The Eyes of Laura Mars. <laughs> breathtaking models, and the beautiful people. Oh, I love this movie. I must have seen Eyes of Laura Mars a dozen times during its original theatrical release in 1978. The beautiful Faye Dunaway plays Laura Mars, a successful fashion photographer who is cursed with the ability to see through the eyes of a serial killer. Halloween's John Carpenter writes a suspense thriller called Eyes, his dark star distributor, Jack H. Harris, also the producer of The Blob, options the script. Could be a good low-budget shocker. Enter mega-producer and former hairdresser, John Peters. What was supposed to be an indie genre movie becomes a major studio movie starring Faye Dunaway and a young Tommy Lee Jones, a young Brad Dourif, and a young Raul Julia. Eyes of Laura Mars is a scary, sexy, delicious thriller that proves that director Irvin Kushner could work in any genre. He went on to direct Empire Strikes Back right after this. I had no idea that the director of The Flim Flam Man had a movie like this in him. Eyes of Laura Mars. When it happens, I can't see what's in front of me. Producer John Peters had his then-girlfriend Barbara Streisand sing the theme song. Editor Michael Kahn went on to edit most of Steven Spielberg's movies. One of the true stars of the movie, though, is music composer Artie Kane. Known for many 70s and 80s TV show themes, he delivers a gripping and in-your-face score that is very memorable. I'm surprised he hasn't done more thrillers. The Michael Zagger Band supplies the disco hit Let's All Chant. Later, he composed the uh, Friday the 13th Part 3 disco theme along with Harry Manfredini. Faye Dunaway is so amazing and electrifying in Eyes of Laura Mars, I am surprised she didn't get nominated for an award. Her performance fires on all cylinders, and she is so intense you can't take your eyes off of her. I can't think of anybody else playing this role. Well, what, what is going on? I don't know. I mean, it's completely unprofessional of me to be walking with you in the woods, I'll tell you that. It all wraps up with a surprising and satisfying twist ending that I didn't see coming. Oh, did I mention Casey and the Sunshine Band has a song in there too? After all, it was the late 70s. Grab Eyes of Laura Mars on DVD. It's really, really terrific. Eyes of Laura Mars. Somewhere between the sensations of high fashion and the precise form of her art lies another dimension.